Welcome to Budapest, everybody. Welcome to Budapest, Hungary. Here we are. You know, one of the best things about being on tour, playing music abroad, traveling, is getting to see new scenery, experience new things, new cultures, hearing bells off in the distance like that. Anyways, yeah, welcome to Budapest. It's gonna be a good tour, gonna to be a good show tonight. Uh, welcome. So tonight's concert here in Budapest is a headline show. We're headlining the venue Budapest Park, it's called. And this entire European run we're doing pretty much is a mixture of headline shows such as this one and European festivals. So the festivals that we're gonna be playing are the world famous Nova Rock, which is in Austria, Rock Am Park, which is in Germany, Rock Am Ring, I hope I'm getting those right, which is also in Germany, as well as uh, Download Festival in England, in the UK. And that's the one I'm most looking forward to, and I think we all are here, because we're actually playing on main stage at that festival, a few bands right before Kiss. So, pretty sweet, and I mean, yeah, they're legends at this point, right? To have sustained a career for, what, 50 years or something? Like, you gotta respect that, so. Definitely looking forward to playing before Kiss at Download Festival, that's gonna be a good one. So, one of the questions that I get asked the most often on this channel in these videos is what does a day look like on tour? What is it like being on tour? Uh, how does it work out day to day? What do you get up to, right? And essentially that's what I try to show in these videos, right? In this tour vlog series. That's what I try to show you guys. But if I did have to break it down, I'd say basically when you're on tour, when you're playing shows, there's two main things that make up the day, right? You got sound check and the show. Those are the work portions of it, what you're there to do, what you're paid to do, hopefully being paid to do anyways, depending on uh, where you are in your journey. But anyways, you know, you mix in around those, all the day-to-day -day stuff, like, you know, telephone calls from home, answering your emails, doing your business stuff, getting meals, uh, showering, you know, all of that mundane stuff. Mix in all of that with the show and the sound check, and you essentially have a full day. Oh yeah, not to mention transiting from venue to venue and figuring your way around town and stuff like that, uh, going to airports and flying, whatever kind of tour you're doing. Mix in all of that and that essentially takes over every single hour of the day. But I guess if I had to pinpoint the actual feeling, like feeling of being on tour, it's pretty much boils down to the fact that you're always on the go. You're always moving, always from one place to the next. You never really feel like you've arrived. It's kind of like, you know that feeling when you've been driving for like six hours and you just want to get out of the car and stretch your legs? It's kind of like that, but then you never really get there. So it's a lot of moving, a lot of on the go, a lot of kind of like hurry up and wait sort of thing. But then you mix in the excitement of playing the shows, doing what you love, playing music, and it ends up being a pretty good time. Plus you get to see cool things like that. Whatever that is. <laughs> You know, I just walked past all the same stores we have back home, like Tag Heaver, Rolex, Gucci, Tory Burch. Not that I shop at those stores personally, but it's just crazy to see, like, some ways you think you're so far from home, and then it's like, no, it's all the same stuff. Or like, when we got picked up from the airport, our shuttle was playing uh, pop music, and it was the same songs on the radio back home in Canada, so. It's pretty crazy how globalized the world has become, right? In some ways I feel I'm so far from home being over here in, in Europe. Other ways, it's like now I'm right outside my back door. What can always be interesting though, and I'm sure anybody who tours or travels can back me up on this. Whenever you come back home from a tour or a trip, it's always, it's always interesting kind of readjusting to that home life, you know? Uh, because when, when you're away, it's like sleeping in the same bed every night or 
waking up in the same place every day, that whole idea just becomes foreign to you. So when you get back home and that's your life again, it always takes some time to readjust. You know, me, it takes me like maybe a week to a week and a half to kind of get my home legs, home legs back and just sort of get used to what that's like again. So that's always interesting. So I just passed this girl who was wearing a Black Veil Brides t-shirt and we like made eye contact for a second and then like she did a double take and looked at me again and I feel like she recognized me from being a part of the band but was maybe too shy to say hello. So if anybody out there ever sees me in public, definitely come and say hi because I love saying what's up. Um, yeah, but I thought that was kind of funny. Anyways, hopefully she's coming to the show tonight. Lastly, there's also this thing us musicians refer to as post-tour depression, which is essentially the idea where like being on tour is so fun and exciting and so just exhilarating that when you get back home, life is almost just too boring or too mundane and you get depressed as a result of it. Now, this is actually something that I used to kind of struggle with back in my early days of touring in my early 20s. Uh, whenever I got back home from a tour, I would just kind of get bummed out because I just wanted to be back on the road. Nowadays though, it's not something that I really struggle with at all. It, pretty much because I've got a much better home life than I did back then, you know. I always look forward to getting back home, seeing my wife, seeing my friends, seeing my puppy, all that kind of stuff. So uh, it's not really something I deal with now, but you know, it is something I've struggled with in the past. And it's definitely uh, common among musicians who tour a lot for a living. All right, we are half an hour to showtime. Should probably start getting my stage clothes on here, getting ready. Gonna be a good one. I'm a little nervous, because last show I did with this band, I broke my leg. So, I'm all healed up now. Hopefully this one goes well. Uh, wish me luck. <laughs> 